What's up guys, Doc Redstone here with a video for you guys. And despite that, today is Monday, and Monday is my Interpret the Tweet Day. I have put that video out and am now more doing an Improve Upon a Concept video rather than uh, a creation video. So that's what's up with today. Uh, don't want to spoil you guys. Don't think every Monday you're going to get something besides the Interpret the Tweet. This is primarily just kind of an extra update video. So, Craft Pixel recently released this because now you can actually get these mob spawners um, if you have a Silk Dutch pickaxe, which is great. Um, unfortunately, the new gates do allow for pigs to do this. To um, go away, pig. You know, pigs can get up actually on that fourth, uh, third block ledge right there. However, this is how the design is. His design was a little overcomplicated I think personally and it wasn't as nearly efficient uh, personally I believe so I ended up creating this hopefully this one has a few less uh, uh, resources than his and if not um, it is a bit more efficient just because it requires only four buckets of water and it has a four by four hole so for this you're going to need four signs four buckets of water four mob spawners a diamond pickaxe with silk touch in order to break the monster spawners. You're going to need two lava buckets. You're going to need 44 nether brick fences and you're going to need 10 grass blocks. The grass blocks are required because mobs only spawn in grass blocks even when using a mob spawner. As far as my testing has shown. So I'm just actually just going to go ahead and take one of each since I'm in creative mode. However, oh, I'm not going to need that. You guys will need all of these resources. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start off by going off here in the distance just a wee bit and digging a 10 by 10 square. Alright, so once you have your 10 by 10 square dug, you're going to take your water buckets and you're going to put water in each of the corners of your square and the reason that you use the 10 by 10 square is because water can only flow seven blocks and that seven blocks will end up leaving a four by four or a two by two hole in the center now you want to go ahead and you want to dig down a total of eight blocks now once you have your 10 by 10 or your eight deep hole you want to go ahead and go down three blocks. So one, two, three. And you're going to place your two signs on both op or opposite sides. You want to take your bucket of lava and just place it from anywhere. And the reason you only need one bucket of lava is because the lava treats these signs as though they're a block, and so the lava just expands. You want to then go down three more blocks and place signs again on alternating walls once again place your lava and there you go you have that and basically the only thing you have left to do is dig yourself a little escape route out just like so now the next thing you want to do is you want to create a spawning pad for the mobs and basically over here if you look you can see that I'm actually gonna break these spawners for the purpose of my design but as you can see this is kind of the design that I ended up using and one of the reasons why that I like this design is because not only does it look cool um, it's symmetrical and I have a problem with making things symmetrical in Minecraft um, also it's very very effective um, for putting down the mob spawners so basically, to make it, you start out by making a 4x4 four four square over here on your mob spawner. So, go ahead and do that real quick. You want to build up too high, and then start from there. Okay, so once you have that square built, you, I have to actually look at this design one more time just to see. Basically punch out every alternating block on the end. 
So. There you go. Like so. And then you want to go ahead and you want to take your mob spawner. You place two on the outer platforms and two on the middle. Like so. Get out of the way, pigs. You're ruining my commentary. Just like so. And as you can see, they spawn. And it's actually quite nice because they all only have about a one block platform that they can walk on due to the way that this is designed. And as you can see, they go ahead and they just fall straight on in and will fall on down in here. And put uh, two pork chops. The lava does not burn the pork chops despite the fact that there is two of it. However, sometimes the pigs do not drop pork chops. Sometimes you get a low yield of pork chops. Sometimes you get no pork chops at all. So that's how that works. And just in case I have not shown you guys, I can't remember if I did or not, but this is the other one from before. Uh, five minute limit must have expired. But I had ended up getting this many pork chops in about five minutes. So really, really, really quick. You get tons of pork chops in no amount of time. I mean with uh, basically over a hundred cork pork chops in five minutes you can do a lot um, you know supply a lot of food for forever and right now it doesn't look like the pigs are able to escape but you can go ahead and you can place your fence around it but that's pretty self-explanatory so I'm not gonna go ahead and do that so anyway guys this has been Doc Redstone please if you have not yet already go check out my IT video, which is Interpret the Tweet, it actually has kind of a twist of humor on it, and at the same time, uh, provides some information about Minecraft that you may not have known. Please like this video, and uh, check out my channel, guys. Anyway, this has been Doc Redstone. Peace!